differential of dispersion for ungrouped data, KSSM mathematics form for advantages and disadvantages of various measures of dispersion. Self practice 8.2b, page 225. Questions 1. Calculate the range and interquartile range of the set of data. Determine which measure of dispersion is more appropriate to be used to measure the distribution of the set of data. Justify your answer. Firstly, make sure the data are sorted from small to big. Range is equal to the maximum value 29 minus the minimum value 2. So range equal to 27. The quartile range is equal to third quartile minus first quartile. We need to find the median first. The median is 20. And so the third quartile is in the middle of the five data. That is 27. Then we need to find the first quartile. First quartile is before the median, the five data. The middle one is 16. So in the quartile range equal to 11. In the quartile range is the most appropriate measure of dispersion because there is an outlier too. Number 2. Mr. Rakesh wants to choose one of his two pupils to present his school in a national business quiz competition. Mr. Rakesh gave five tests to the two pupils. The following are the results of the five tests. The mean appropriate measure of dispersion to be used on Mr. Rakesh to make the selection. State who Mr. Rakesh should select based on the measure of dispersion calculated. Firstly, we find the means for pupils A. Means is equal to the average score of all the five tests. So the mean is equal to 68. Then we find the standard division. We square all the score and per 5 minus the mean. Make sure the mean is square. And so standard division is 20.37. Then we find the mean for pupils B. So mean for pupil B is equal to the average of score for all five tests. So mean equal to 68. Then we find the standard division. Still the same formula. Square all of the scores and per 5 and minus mean square. So we get standard division as 9.98. So the appropriate measure of dispersion to be used on the request to make the selection is the standard division of pupil B. Both pupil A's and pupil B's they have the same means, so the only difference is the standard division. The standard division of pupil B is lower because his achievement is more consistent. Number three, the table below shows the monthly salaries of seven employees of Texan Company. A. Calculate the range, the quota range, and standard division of the monthly salaries of the employees in Texan company. Range is equal to the maximum salaries 3000 minus the minimum salaries 900. So the range is equal to 2100. Then in the quota range is equal to third quota minus first quota. We need to find the median, that is 1000. After the median, there are three numbers. In the middle is the third quartile. Then before the median, there are three data. So in the center is the first quartile. So in the quartile range is equal to 310. Then you find standard division equal to this formula. For this one, we square all the numbers and add all of them. For this one, find the sum of all the salaries of 7 men. And below is 7. Make sure square. This part is the mean. And so standard division is equal to 702.22. B. State the most appropriate measure of dispersion to be used in order to show the distribution of the money salaries of the employees in Texan company. 
So the most appropriate measure of dispersion is the intercortical range, because there is an outlier 3000. 